From the Fox News Podcast Network, I'm Dana Perino, and everything will be okay. Hello, and welcome back to the season finale of Everything Will Be Okay. This week, I'm joined by a phenomenal businessman, mentor, and human being. And I'm not just saying that because he's my husband. Peter McMahon and I met on August 17th, 1997, and we got married a year later. So we've been together a long time, and he's definitely my best friend and my best guide, and everything that I've accomplished would not have been possible if we weren't together. So I wanted to have a chance for you to hear from him. Um, And so you listened to Peter McMahon and also a, a special guest that joined us in addition to him, also a family member, and it is not a furry one named Percy. The season went by very fast. I loved every moment of it. I had a chance to speak with people here at Fox News, which I know that you all loved. We had New York Times bestselling authors. We had um, military people. We had renowned journalists, uh, beauty gurus, and some of my very dear friends and the co-founders of Minute Mentoring. So it was fabulous. It brought me a lot of joy, and I know it gave all of you the gift of invaluable life and career advice. Peter, welcome. This is not your first time on a podcast. I know you actually would like to have your own podcast one of these days. Well, maybe, if you ask me nicely. What? Well, it's not up to me. I think it's a good idea. What do you want to talk about on your podcast? The interesting discoveries one makes when coming to live in the United States from the UK, as I believe it was George Bernard Shaw once said, two countries divided by a common language. And it's amazing how many differences there are. And uh, even to this day, occasionally, Dana and I have a little bit of a dispute because there's been a misunderstanding. Do you remember that one about the fury and then the (laughs) furor? Yes. (laughs) Okay, let me back up. Okay, to cause a there was to cause a furor. A (laughs) furor. Ferror or Ferrari. But you said well, Ferrari. I think I did, and I think that's the pronunciation in And it caused a Ferrari, and I was yes. like, what's a Ferrari? I've never heard that in my life. Well, and you had a, me say the word, and the way I said it, you said, you can't say that. <laughs> well, what you said sounded like what a dog has, you know, Ferrari. <laughs> no, you said what it sounded like was like the Fuhrer. Oh, the Fuhrer. Oh, that's right. The Fuhrer. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Good job this doesn't go out in Germany. Right. But honestly, Peter, Fiori, nobody in America has ever said that. Like, wow, that caused a real Ferrari. Nobody in the nobody in America has ever, ever said that. It's like schedule. That's the worst word. Uh, Dana, Dana cannot stand It's like schedule. nails on a chalkboard, that word. Uh, didn't you learn that in shul? No. When did you learn to drop the U in words like color and honor? Well, we say it the same, color and honor. So I don't drop it, really. No, but, when you spell it. Oh, when I'm writing it, sorry. God. <laughs> um, this is exactly what I mean about misunderstandings. Um, I use on the uh, on my laptop, it's set for American alphabet. Oh, so you cheat. So, no, that did it automatically for me mm. at the beginning, and now I do it. But if I'm writing to somebody in the UK, I still put the U in. Have you had any text message failures lately with your voice texting? I haven't, but I know somebody who has. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I know. I'm just trying to use voice text more because it to avoid the posture problems in my back and everything. I'm really having, I'm struggling on that front. So I've been using voice text and these people um, that we are very good friends with asked us to go to dinner one of the weekends this summer. And I meant to say, well, we have a lot of guests this summer, but when... I press send, and then Peter was like, she means guess. And I'm like, what did I write? And it said, guess. We have a lot of <laughs> gas this weekend or this summer. And so I just uh, very kindly said I think she was talking about me rather than uh, <laughs> having her take the blame. You might have heard another little laughter there. This is a real treat because I knew Peter was coming to the podcast, but an unexpected guest is my sister, Angie. Perino Mayshock is here. Want to say hi? 
Hi, everybody. Oh, stronger voice, please. Oh, hi, everybody. There you go. I've never talked into one of these before. <laughs> one of these is called a what? A microphone. There you go. Mm-hmm. Very good. Let's use our words. Okay, that's right. You can't <laughs> see what I'm doing here. <laughs> you could never guess who's the older sister, could you? Well, no. right. Right. I, yeah, God, Godfeld makes fun of me because one time he asked me, one of the Facebook Friday questions on the five was, on what what did you like to do You know, as soon as school was out for the summer? What did you like to play? And I said, school. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I, I would make Angie play school. Um, so Angie's here for a quick little visit, so I invited her here. This is um, going to be the season finale of this year's Everything Will Be Okay podcast season. I think it's been an amazing run. I can't believe all the great people we had a chance to talk to, uh, including you know Walker Hayes and J.T. Harding from Nashville. That was amazing. Uh, Maura Nielsen uh, was a good friend who works in the beauty industry. And then you had all these crowd favorites from here, Judge Jeanine Pirro, Jimmy Fela, Jesse Waters. And we started off with an interview or, well, a discussion with my Minute Mentoring co-founders, Jamie Zweibach and Dee Martin. And I was thrilled that that was so um, highly popular, got a lot of downloads. And so uh, today I just wanted to have Peter and Angie come because uh, without them, uh, I would not be able to do what I do or have written the book. Uh, And I learn a lot from Peter and I just want to maybe get, have a chance for people who listen to the podcast or might be new listeners to the podcast to hear about your approach because you're the most even killed person I know. It kind of is annoying, actually. <laughs> like um, everything else about me, Dana. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's true. But no, seriously, um, one of the things about the difference between American and British English as a language is that I will say something like, I am so excited to go to dinner tonight. I say, and I'll say, aren't you excited? And he'll say, well, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> as if he's, you know, he, his level to get too excited, I mean, is just, I, I don't know. I don't think I've actually ever seen you excited. Yes. Well, you know, the um, the email that was going around uh, when some, when there was the uh, the terrorist attack in Britain and they said, you know, they're uh, they're raising the, the national alert from annoyed to mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> miffed or something like that. Uh, it's the British way it just tends to be a bit more calm. But that being said, I find that a lot of Americans are a lot calmer than Britons. A lot of Brits get quite animated at times, um, whereas Americans tend to be a bit calmer really? overall. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a bit of a misconception overall that uh, the, the Brits are calm because they're not. Just look at the football hooligans <laughs> or halogens, as our friend once called them. I guess it's just your accent makes you sound like you're so calm, cool, and collected. Well, yes. Um, Dana always says, don't lose your accent. It's all you've got going for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Like last weekend, we were playing tennis with another couple, and Peter twice tried to say something about the rules or like something happened or we were supposed to switch when we didn't and he was wrong both times but it still sounded like he was right but let's be honest when i'm with dana i'm always wrong yeah well that's true there's a the expression that if a man is in the woods 200 miles from anybody walking along and he's talking to himself is he still wrong every woman i know says yes peter are you trying out for some sort of like voiceover thing or something like <laughs> Yes, I am, actually. He can (laughs) totally do a voiceover. I mean, he's got this radio. He has a fantastic voice, but all of a sudden I'm like, okay, is this like an audition? Well, no, because I'm speaking quietly into the microphone. That's true. That's true, yes. Tell him. But if anybody out there is looking for someone to do uh, audio books, I'm uh, (laughs) ready, willing, and able. Tell him about when you used to answer the phone. Oh, no, Dana. Yeah, that's so funny. Okay, so I was, uh, it was after my first marriage and I was... um, I don't know how to put it, making up for lost time. Oh, gosh. And, okay, uh, you don't have to get too graphic. When I, uh, I, share, I was sharing a house with a couple of other guys because I was poor as a church mouse. And um, where we used to sit watching the TV in the evening, I answered the phone. I was near, it was the, the landline days. This is pre-cell phone. And one of them pointed out once that I'd pick up the phone and uh, I can't remember the number, but it was shorter numbers in those days. And I'd say something like, hello, Maidenhead 54382. And then if they heard, oh, hello, they knew there was a woman on the phone and they said that was my woman on the phone voice. <laughs> so this is what Peter, this, you're doing a podcast and women, so like, I guess with I'm woman, doing on, a woman a on a phone voice. voice. Yes, I guess so. Angie, when you first met Peter, did you like his accent? Oh, yeah. Did, I you, met Peter when I was really young. I yeah. think I was 
21, 18, something like that. 21, 18. That's what this man is. 18 or 21, somewhere in there. But yes, I absolutely loved his um, accent. And Peter and I, we are very close. We are. I think you met when you were 20. Yeah, I want to say it was Because we 20. all have met. Um, 97. 97. We met yeah. 26, yeah. no, 25 years ago this August. 25 years ago. August 17th, better not month. forget. For the full podcast, go to foxnewspodcast.com.